uh, I would call the Economic Development Committee to order. Uh, Madame de Clerc, please roll call. Each member is acknowledging that they are attending the meeting via Zoom and that they are located in Wayne County, Michigan, unless otherwise stated when I call your name. Commissioner Varga. Commissioner Varga. Still eating cake from the birthday party. Is she still on our campaign? Okay, I, I had to say I got it, that it was recording before it would let me unmute myself. Okay, I'm here. Commissioner Palomero. Here. Commissioner Baker McCormick. Commissioner Dobb. Here. Commissioner Baydoon. Here. Commissioner Anderson. Here. Chair Haddis. Present. You have a quorum present. Okay, thank you. Next item. B, chair's remarks. I uh, have none today except uh, I, the good news as Pfizer been uh, finally approved and uh, now they're working on uh, to vaccinate the kids between 12 and 5. And that is good news to all of us. Uh, we hope uh, we keep moving in the right direction to fight this pandemic. Uh, Amen. That, yeah, that's all I have now. Next item, please. The approval of the July 27th, 2021 meeting minutes. Move approval. Support. Support. Motion been made and supported. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those who agree signify by saying aye. 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 Oppose. Abstain. Motion passes. Next item. Item one, under unfinished business, a presentation on the results of the retail corridor study in Out County. Okay. Uh, so, go it's ahead. Uh, Wafa, Wafa De Niro, Wayne County Economic Development. We actually finished the presentation. Um, we just weren't able to get to questions. Luce Meza on here to answer any questions that you guys might have. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm happy to go over questions. If you all need a quick um, review of, of what we went over in the last meeting with um, our consultant, Bobby Boone, I'm happy to review that. Um, otherwise, you know, we're happy to answer questions regarding uh, the retail study where you can find different, um, the findings, all of the reports that were developed by community, things like that. I, I think go ahead with a short review and see if any of the commissioners have a question. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen really quick. Um, I'm not going to go through the full thing. Obviously, it's 66 pages. But as we get to the end, um, Bobby got us into recommendations, um, including bolstering place management, which uh, goes into um, a movement that's happening nationwide to create uh, places that people want to be at to utilize um, our retail corridors as uh, public spaces for people to hang out. Um, we, we talked about uh, the entrepreneurial support ecosystem. So we're thinking about the organizations that support our small businesses in the different communities. From our survey results um, of um, service providers, we found that there are 20 communities with direct services to entrepreneurs in that area, and that there are uh, actually more communities that do not have a direct support system for small businesses. Um, and that's very important. And so we're, we're thinking about how we utilize our DDAs. Um, and we found that about 73 of our 100 corridors studied uh, were supported by a DDA, and that's 99.9 .9 miles. And 81% um, of the businesses that we looked at were, were supported by the DDAs in those corridors. So we understand the importance of that and utilizing our DDAs to accomplish all of these things. Um, I'm just going to go through this really quickly. This is uh, general recommendations. The next recommendation was technical assistance programs, making sure that businesses can find or business owners can find a place where they can get support for their business. Um, through surveying, we identified some of their major needs of obviously, you know, at the height of the pandemic, many of them indicated it was grants, 
But we also had things like extensions to lending, marketing support, training with web programs, um, long-term loans, succession planning, uh, business models, uh, employee retention. So you can see a lot of different technical uh, support services that businesses in the area are needing. One of the big ones being succession planning um, and, and thinking about for some of the businesses that have um, long time, as we saw in some of our results, mostly in um, the retail sector, uh, furnishings, uh, apparel, things like that, that we know that we're going to have to support them in um, a transition. Um, we also learned from our surveying that most business uh, most businesses are really lacking in like the basic essential documents that they need to access things like loans, grants, and other um, and other types of support. And so we understand that that a lot of the businesses need help with the very basic things from a technical service perspective. Um, and you will see just some general recommendations around that um, and more data. Um, most folks indicated that they needed one-on-one -on -one support. Some folks uh, preferred webinars and you can see that dwindles down to classroom setting. Um, some metrics for success, other uh, recommendations supporting uh, facade improvement and, and property improvement for small businesses. We know a lot of um, our commercial uh, space is not in great condition across the county. And this is a big um, one that we should consider tackling in the future. Again, general recommendations for that. Um, and then the next one is a countywide business registration. So just kind of a place where people can go to figure out uh, local businesses to shop at. Um, general recommendations around that. And then the last recommendation here is a buy local campaign. And this is more of a marketing effort, um, which has you know been a part of our strategy in the last year as well, um, but really boosting that to um, continue supporting local businesses. With that, I think this is a good place to you know let you all jump in if you have questions so far. <clears throat> the the uh, the facade program uh, is that have a matching fund from the business people for it? Um, we currently don't have a facade program. I think these are one of the kind of longer term recommendations as we um, as we stabilize our local businesses. This is again a recommendation from um, our consultant who did this study. Um, Generally, facade programs do have a match. A lot of communities already have facade programs um, that are run either by um, their business association, their chambers, their DDAs. So th this isn't something that, that is um, in the works at this time uh, via the county. Thank you. Uh, and if the commissioner have a question. Here and none. I think you did a good job explaining everything, Mr. Yeah. Chairman. Yes, uh, Commissioner Anderson. Yeah, I had my electronic hand up, but you, sometimes yeah. I know you yeah. can't see it. Uh, yeah. But uh, d just a couple of questions. Uh, following up on your question about the facade, uh, any grants that might be out there. Uh, has the county explored uh, whether or not there's funds available uh, either from the federal government or state government to, to assist that we, that we could then in turn assist them? Uh, or is there planning on that, discussions on that? I mean, because I think that is really important. A lot of times I've noticed that people, uh, you get a business uptick when you have a facade improvement that people that may had not paid too much attention to the business that was there and they, uh, then it reignites uh, the, the business that uh, the small business might have. Uh, and the second question is when will, is, has this been shared with the locals, uh, local uh, communities? Uh, and if not, when? Commissioner yeah. Anderson, yeah. oh, I, I can I can take that loose. So just to, to to answer your first question, this is Wafa Denaro. Um, we are actually the state released a an economic um, plan yesterday, a two point one billion dollar plan. 
Um, it was 80 plus pages. So we have not finished going through the document to know what's fully in there. We expect that there will be, um, there'll be some Main Street program. We don't know what that's gonna look like if it is gonna be a facade improvement. Um, but our intention is if, if the state or the federal government doesn't offer it, um, we've been hearing it a lot from the communities. We've saw it, we've seen it um, in this recommendation. Our, um, our recommendation is gonna be to get funding for it, um, either through grants or through the ARPA funds. Great, great. Yeah, I, I think that's, like I said, a lot of times it stimulates business uh, that the uh, property owner uh, maybe has been reluctant to do, but uh, the, uh, the lessor that is uh, in that that's building, uh, you know, of course they want to. They they certainly would benefit from the improved business that they're going to get or increased business. Uh, so I look forward to hearing uh, when you had a time to analyze that what we're what we're going to do. Yep. And then to answer your second question, um, Luce actually met with every single community to go over their community results. It's also on the economic development page. It's all um, by community. It's all listed, all of the results of, of the retail study. So it's all available for, for you to take a look at. Um, and we did go through and, and speak with every individual community and go through their individual um, results. Yeah, Great. there were plans developed specifically by community. And I can, if you all can see, can you all see the Wayne County website now? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, if you go into our economic development page um, under our services and then data and reports, you will find a table that includes a, the retail study results for each community. And so it'll be listed like this. You can go in there, you can click on any community, you will have maps, you will have data but you will also have their full report with the analysis for that community. Um, and you can see they're really long, really very detailed recommendations, analysis of their, um, you know, how they did during COVID and whatever um, the, the grants that we provided in that area, what the impact was. And then you'll see some general recommendations. So if you haven't looked there on our economic development, page under data and reports, you will find these individual reports by community. And we're just really, we have already shared these with them and we're really excited to have this as a resource that they can use as they're planning um, around small business and retail. Great, great. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thanks, uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Uh, any other question for Luz or Wafa? Hearing none, thank you. It's a good presentation and uh, we hope we to keep working to see some result and success in many of those community who's willing to work with us. Thank you. Mr. Um, Chair, I just want to thank the, the ladies for all their hard work. I know uh, they have some monumental tasks that some of these com communities are bringing to them uh, such as Lincoln Park, and uh, they have the patience that I probably would not have and, and the wherewithal to help the community. So thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> Madame de Clerc, next item, please. Item one, under new business, communication from the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy, forwarding a notice of a public hearing for a request by U.S. Ecology for Wayne County Disposal, Inc. for a modification request for its hazardous waste operating license. Uh, yes, those five items, item one, two, and three, and four, and five, it's receive and file. Move and, to receive and, and file. Items one through five. I'll support. Okay, motion been made and supported and that it's uh, especially item one and two, uh, the change of the liner. I know we went through a lot of discussion on that in the past uh, and uh, I check with Joe to see if anybody could answer some question for some of the commissioner who really uh, didn't have the information or was not there when we debate the issue of changing this, the thickness of the liner. Uh, he said no. So I think uh, we have uh, 
not much uh, oversight on those things because it's been approved by the Eagle. I mean, the county, uh, we only receive, uh, receive and file those items. Uh, they don't require approval of the commission. So uh, any discussion on those issue? Here a non motion been made and supported. All those who agree signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Abstain? Motion pass. Next item. Item six, requesting commission approval of a grant agreement with the U.S. Department of Treasury. Okay, this one for approval. I uh, think uh, we need a motion. To approve. Support. Motion been made and supported. Any discussion? Aye. Somebody want to say something about that? Any discussion? Hearing none. Motion been made and supported. All those who agree signify by saying aye. 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 Oppose. And there one opposed. For the record, Commissioner. Yes. Uh, this is Commissioner Baker McCormick. I've been trying to get in and uh, just wanted to let you know I just voted. So. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, well, so, mm -hmm. so good record your vote, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Motion passes. Next item. Item seven, requesting commission approval of a sub-recipient agreement with the Wayne Metropolitan Community Action Agency. Move approval. Support. Support. Motion be, been made and supported. Any discussion? Hearing none. Motion been made and supported. All those who agree signify by saying aye. 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 Oppose? Abstain? Motion carried. Okay, Madam the Clerk. F. Such other matters as may be properly submitted before the committee. I have none unless you have something submitted. I have none. Uh, next item. Public comments. Uh, will you please unmute the public? Um, The lines have been unmuted. Okay, anybody from the public like to comment on the economic development committee agenda? Any comment from the public? Anybody from the public like to comment on the economic development committee agenda? The three time here and none, all those now, it's, I think next item is adjournment. Move to adjourn. Anderson. Or, Motion been made and supported. All those who agree signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, motion passes. We adjourn. Thank you, everyone. See you at 11. Yes, ma'am. Bye, everybody.